Now, in the previous training video, we learned how to export our data into a Microsoft Word file, or actually it's an RTF rich text format that will actually open up in Microsoft Word. But when we export it, we save the steps. So we don't have to run the export wizard again. We can just come up here on the external data tab to the export group and click on the saved exports, and there it is. All we have to do is click run. It'll actually overwrite the file if it's still there within the exercise folder, which when I close out and I maximize my folder here, it is. It'll overwrite it. If it's not there, it'll just place it there again. When I double click and open it up, let's say I want to make some changes. I'm looking at order ID 12. The total books sold for order ID 12 is 13. Let's say it's not 13. We made a mistake. It's going to be 100. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this minimize the folder here and let's clean this up. Now the tables that the sales and profit query is based upon is one of them, the book sales, so I'll double click and open that up. It was order 12. They made a sale of 13 books. We need to update that to 100 and shift enter to save that. So in my sales and profit query it should also be updated and somewhere in here is the order ID 12 that when I export it or I run the export, let's see what happens if it updates that file. So again, to the external data tab, to the save exports, has it selected, click run. It says, do you want to replace the existing file? Say yes. It finished exporting it, click OK. Let's close out. Let me maximize my exercise folder, and let's open this up and see what it looks like. Now again, it couldn't fit all this into one page here, so I'm going to have to click and drag the crosshairs for the table over just a bit, and then click and drag in between the columns here to crunch them up just enough so I can bring over some additional fields that are hidden over here. Now, I can't get the edge of the sales date field here, so what I can do is I can click on it to select the whole column here, the Layout tab, and go to the cell Size group and change it from 3.5 inches wide to 1 inch, hit Enter, and there's the order ID 12, and instead of being 13, overwrote the file here with the latest, and it's 100 books sold to Ghost Hunters America. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.